Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Second parter because this one was pretty long at 30 minutes. It was a very long episode comparatively. So we decided to just split it up and keep them like relatively the same length episodes. Uh, and we're basically coming back in after Ruby is woken up and she's starting to talk with her Uncle Crow. So yeah. Also, I can't take Bernie. I know you I'm guys from the last video might have already heard about it. I can't take him seriously with, <laughs> with that going on, man. So, how you feeling? Um, I kind of hurt all over. <laughs> that makes sense, after what you did. You guys keep saying that, that I did something. What are you talking about? See, like there, the voice acting there is What's not the, last thing you the greatest, in my opinion. In I my opinion, and I'm no tower, expert. And when I got to the top, I... <gasps> Pira, is she? Yeah. She's gone. Yeah. I... I got to the top, and I saw Pira, and Cinder, and then everything went white. Anything else? I remember my head hurting. The night you met Ozpin, what was the first thing he said to you? I, I, I don't know. I think it was something about... Silver eyes. That's an extremely rare trait. Mm. So? You're special, Ruby. And not in the daddy loves his special angel kind of way. You're special the same way your mom was. Oh, it's her mother. And that's why she is, because her mother Remnants had things full of her. Of legends and stories. Some of them true, some made up. But there's one Oz told me from a very long time ago. Back before Huntsman, before Kingdoms. It was said that those born with silver eyes were destined to lead the life of a warrior. You see, the creatures of Grimm, the most fearsome monsters mankind had ever encountered, were afraid of those silver-eyed warriors. They were the best of the best. It was said that even a single look from one of these fighters could strike a Grimm down. <laughs> it's a ridiculous story. <laughs> but Hashtag legends. You think that I might be... Well, a giant monster's currently frozen on top of Beacon Tower, and you're here, safe in bed. Wait, wait, how did you know what Ospin said to me the night we met? All those missions I go on, all the times I'm away in some far off place, it's been for Ospin, but he's missing now. And so Crow's lost too. Motion. With Oz gone, I'll have to pick up where he left off. Sorry, what getting texts from someone that I have to address quickly. If I'm so special, then I can help, right? You really want to help? Get some rest. You're in no condition to go anywhere right now. Besides, our enemy's trail leads all the way to Haven. That'd be quite a trip for a pipsqueak like you. Ooh, we're going to Haven next? Catch you later, kiddo. That'd be fun. I'd be interested. Honestly, I wouldn't mind keeping going through these, but I only have so much time in the day, guys, and I got a lot of stuff to upload and schedule for later. Ah, yes. See, Barbara's really good at her voice acting, actually. Aww. I'm so glad you're okay. But I'm not. Yeah, the it's arm. It's all gone. School, Penny, Pira, and... Yang, where are Weiss and Blake? Weiss's father came for her what what do you mean no one outside of Vale knows what happened here the 
before the tower fell. The last thing people saw was Atlas attacking innocent people and Grim destroying the city. Everyone's scared. No one knows who to trust. So Weiss's father came to take her back to Alice, where he thinks it's safe. Hmm. <laughs> She's gone. What about and Blake ran? Sun saw her go. After we got to the city, she just ran. But why? I don't know. And I don't care. There has to be a reason she... No, there doesn't. Sometimes bad things just happen, Ruby. So what do we do now? You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna lie here. Yang! Just leave me alone. Yeah, I mean, I can't be, like, too critical. I mean, also, that's interesting texturing on the... Pajamas. Sad to think that Monty never saw it get to this point. Because this is where it would really be considered a deepening of the storyline, honestly. In my opinion, I could be totally wrong, obviously, but that's what I would say. Um,. And a maturation, obviously. You, know, you lose main characters. It happens. Hey, John. So that's how they end up that way. way to go. I know. It's the only lead we have. And you're sure you want to come along? See, they do a much Journey better job at making her hair red. And whether we'll find Yay! The end is entirely uncertain. But we wouldn't be here if we weren't up for it. Yeah, Nora. Let's get started. A smaller, more honest soul. It's so a new true team, that huh? A simple spark can ignite hope. Breathe fire into the hearts of the weary. The ability to derive strength from hope is undoubtedly <laughs> Scribble, 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 scribble Ruby. Yay! Classic. Which is why I will focus all of my power to snuff it out. How does it feel, knowing that all of your time and effort has been for nothing? That your guardians have failed you? That everything you've built will be torn down before your very eyes? Your faith in mankind was not misplaced. When banded together, unified by a common enemy, they are a noticeable threat. But divide them. Place doubt into their minds. And any semblance of power they once had will wash away. Of course, His mustache. They'll at first. Like you, they'll cling to their fleeting hope, their aspirations. But this was merely the first move. And so back you send your guardians, from the start to huntsmen and huntresses. And when they fail and you turn to your smaller soul, know that you send her to the same pitiful demise. So who is this? This is the beginning of the end, Ospin. And I can't wait to watch you burn. I mean, it's a really good, uh, interesting finish for that. I will say adding in, a, like, a new character at the end is both a good and bad thing. Oh, man. And then we're going to go ahead and go through the credits, which are quite a bit. Six minutes. Should have thought about that. I keep forgetting that on these last ones that there are a lot of them. But we can see Ruby Rose, Lindsay Jones, Blake Belladonna, Aaron Zetch, Wai Schnee, Kara Everell, Barbara Dunkelman, Joel is Bartholomew Ublek. Oh, so he is Ublek. Yay! Miles Luna, Vic Mignogna, yep, Michael Jones, Kate Warner, Gavin Freese. Is Scarlet? Which one's Scarlet? Man, there's a lot of different people. I think that's cool, though. I think it's better to have Tai Yang Zhao Long. Yeah, so that is the father. Salem, Jen Taylor. And here come the animators. 
Thank your local animators, y'all. They don't get enough love. And so, th so this song is supposed to refer to the to the uh, this last episode. It sounds like. I made pretty decent time considering. definitely a little bit of a different feel on this album I will say which I like but it was definitely different Lyman Hardy Eric friends sound audio mix facility stuck on on is that their mix facility I don't know who that is World of Remnant Vital Festival Tournament. Wait, so they had something else going there? Anyway. Okay, so those are the side episodes where they did actual... All right. And then they have Clarin the Weed, Connor. So those were probably done in-house, I'm guessing, for this season. Which is cool, obviously. And yeah, the Four Maidens. Which... There's got to be more going on there, man. There's got to be something that I'm missing, like, giving the import and power of those four. Maybe when they all four come together, it's a very serious threat. Maybe I'm just spending too much time in higher, uh, scaling series. You know, I've been watching and reading a lot of Tower of God, God of High School, a lot of other stuff like that. And so those are very high scaling relatively to this, so... I definitely want to see how it goes. To be fair, I feel like a lot of Ruby is down to the story and the emotional connection that you get with these people. Of course, it's about cool fighting and amazing designs and stuff as well, but... So we've got some old ones and some new ones on the music, it looks like. So we got a new Mirror Mirror, Divide Cold, When It Falls, and then When It Falls Chapter 10, Not Fall In Love With You, Neon. So there's actually not as many recorded and performed edition of music by Alex Abraham, vocals by Casey Lee, copyright, Jeff Williams Music, ASCAP. Special thanks to Crunchyroll, Austin Stitch, yeah. And so we got more, Tim and Carrie Lee. These are all, I'm guessing, supporters um, and different stuff. This is a cool song. Christmas time tone that they've taken the chord progression, which is cool. It's a good use of it. Christmas time. <laughs> Security. Creamsicle chance. The incredible Ted. And we still got two another minute or so of credits. I'm gonna watch them though, for you guys and for these guys who made the show, because it's worth it. And they deserve the respect. Rooster teeth! What else do they do after this then for a minute? Just the song? So I won't say yeah. Poor Monty. Aww. That is a cool signature. We do love you, Monty. That did bring a tear to my eye. There we go. This is what I was expecting at the very, very end. Now, who? Oh, is it Crow? Gotta be right. Vospin's cane. And then the crow. Wait, can he turn into a crow? 
Nah, it's just symbolism. <laughs> I hope. Uh, but yeah, that was the ending of uh, Volume 3, Episode 12. We've just finished Volume 3. Uh, I, You know, back way back when, when I originally had started watching Ruby and had seen whatever, like, I don't know why I stopped. I'm glad I got restarted on the suggestion of people here. Um, and as always, please suggest more series to watch because eventually we will run out of Ruby stuff to watch. And I don't know what we're going to do at that point because it makes up a big portion of our reaction stuff at the moment. Um, but thank you guys for checking it out. Check the bumpers on both ends for info on how to support Ruby as well as myself. That info is also in the description below. Uh, you know, stay amazing, stay excellent, stay, you know, not exasperated. And we'll see you next time on Reactions with an X. Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host, Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do, or just to rip us to shreds, leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.